Hi, this is Will Wild coming to you today from the Himalayan mountains in India. I'm up in Rishikesh at the moment and um, I wasn't going to do any work on this holiday but um, I thought I'd make a little video to teach you guys this scale. So this is a scale called the double harmonic major scale. It sounds very minor but it is still technically a major scale because the third is still a major third. So um, this scale is used in a lot of different music. Um, it's sometimes called the uh, like gypsy scale. Um, it's used in some sort of Egyptian, Middle Eastern kind of kind of music. Um, but you do hear it used in Indian music sometimes too. Um, there's some monkeys in the background, by the way. Let's go see if I can get you. I think they've gone. But there were some monkeys leaping around in these trees a minute ago. Watch out for them. <coughs> so, the scale is basically... Um, if, if you can play the major scale in first position, then you'll be able to play this scale. So, it's essentially just a major scale with the second and sixth degree flattened. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, if you just flatten that second note. So I'm on a C harp, I'm going one blow, one draw bend for that flat two or minor second. And then three blow, uh, sorry, <laughs> one blow, one draw bend, two blow, two draw whole step bend, two draw. So exactly the same as a major scale so far, we're just bending that second note down. And then we're going to flatten the sixth note as well. So instead of playing the draw three whole step bend, we're going to play the step and a half bend. It's just going to give us a minor sixth instead of a major sixth. And then to finish that octave, it's just three draw, four blow. And I like to add little kind of decorations on the bend spine. Just letting the bend kind of come up a, a microtone and pulling it back down again. So that's in the first octave. The second octave, um, obviously our major scale would be... Anyone who's taken my free course will know how to play that major scale by now. Um, if you haven't taken my free course yet, there is a, a link below. So again, we're going to take the major scale and just flatten the second and sixth degree. So that means the four draw bend and the six draw bend instead of just the regular four draw and six draw. So I'm going four blow, four draw bend, five blow, five draw, six blow, six draw bend. And then in hole seven, we're just going seven draw, seven blow. Now usually I would put the tab up at the bottom of the screen, but I'm away at the moment. I'm just filming this on my phone. So I haven't got my uh, editing gear with me to do that. Uh, but I write the tab in the description below. So you can start to put these two octaves together once you're comfortable with them. The monkeys are back. I just thought I'd show you these quickly. Every time I start filming, they disappear. There were loads of them a minute ago. Anyway, for the upper octave, um, you need a couple of overdraws to get this scale. Um, I only brought one harp out to India with me, and to be honest with you, this harp doesn't overdraw at all out of the box. Um, so I'm not going to demonstrate this, but if you want to play this scale in the upper octave, it will be 7 blow, 7 overdraw, 8 blow, 9 draw, 
9 blow, 9 overdraw, 10 blow half step bend, and then 10 blow. So pretty tricky to play in the upper octave, but relatively straightforward in the first two octaves. So I'll put the tab below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're a beginner or if you're just new to this whole idea of improvising using scales um, and you want to understand more about the, the concept of different scales and scale, scale formulas, then check out my free beginner and intermediate course. I'll put a link below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you.